I love him. You have got a heart for people. Amen. You are a carer and I made you an organizer, but now your heart for people dominates. And that's it. That in all you see people, you work for them, you want people to be built up, and you can see people, you can even see hopes where there is need and where people need help. It's your heart that drives you and drives you on to be there for people. You are a carer, you've got a shepherd's heart. And because of that, I I made you a shepherd of women and of women leaders and Amen. I will help you to go on and to help. Amen. But even those leaders need help, they need care and they need counsel. For there are issues in their lives that hinder them to reach their full potential and even hinder them in life and might hinder their marriages and you know where wounded people are. I need more counseling in the church more people who just look for the wounds and I need for leaders to have time and spaces where they can find counsel also without um, losing faith. Face for you know how people are. Make care for it, make room for it, for that will be rewarded and people will be more active and they will know me more and love me more. For I am the healer. I am the one who heals the broken hearted. And as they receive, they will pass on. That's the best way of training, training those who shall be multipliers, that they can be trained by my love, experience my love, be filled by my love, experience how I can even solve knots in their life. And that will help them to do it more. So let them go on. Let them have counseling training. With this counseling training, let there be practice where people pray for each other. And as they pray for each other, they will reach, I will be present, and things will start to happen. As it says in my word, pray for each other, confess your sins to each other, and pray for each other, that you will be healed. Now here, talks in context about physical healing, it applies the same to inner healing, and okay. to healing of the hearts, where it is needed. And there is a big need, and a big need in your congregation and taking care, uh, taking care of the congregation and taking care of the women who will help them on and who will be like leaders and models of how to do things because so they have to be trained and this training shall matter to them that they in this cause will receive help that will help them on. If I am preparing and as I am preparing to pour out you pour out oil into vessels you take care that the vessels are without are not broken anymore for else it wouldn't keep even though you pour in a lot and you poured in a lot but some was kept and others drained people couldn't hold it it has to do with areas where there have been um uh, with unused areas and there has been sick. and I want even more to be done against idolatry and idol worship, but that's Amen. for leadership to speak against it. I'm just mentioning you, uh, that's not your main task, but that's something that I have to say and to speak and to do. For I love people and more will come, my purity. Uh, I can see this church come to a place where there will be pure before me. And this will attract my presence. Amen. That's why I'm speaking. And it all fits in with my plans to meet with you. To meet with you in a mightier way, in a mightier way. And as you're praying, I'm just telling you, I'm telling you, but I'm also telling others, that this is my plan, that this has to come. And I can see, and as I told you, you're an organizer, I can see you organize meetings in this church which will be important. And I can see a big women meeting being held in this church. Amen. And this being for people from all over, places we would like to come, but especially this region. 
Um, because I love this area, this region shall be especially be invited. And have speakers who know how I touch people's hearts. And I can see two speakers for this weekend and it will pack people and the power of my presence will be evident. Amen. For having their work with women before, weren't the women the first at my grave, weren't the women the first witnesses who came and believed me. So I will work with women and women will again be catches of my presence of my fire far beyond. Uh, I can break through through men. It will become a men's revival that I will work with women and bring women back to a place where I can trust them. And I will heal marriages. There's a lot of work to be done. But that's another issue. Another issue where I want people to be taught. Teach them my word. Teach women to, to submit to their husbands and teach them what it means and how it can be practical that they honor them in spite of all, all the mistakes and all even pain that I have suffered. My word needs to be uphold, and my word will be a key to feeling of quite some marriages. That's also important. And the teaching to come in, and women to repent of wrong attitudes. For my heart is for women, my heart is for families, and of course my heart is for husbands. And if women change, and things change, the husbands will even ask what has happened. And it's because of God, God's will. This can even melt their hearts, and make them more loving husbands of these. These are my plans, but that's not so much. Um, it will be under your supervision, so I'm speaking to you too. That was what I had right now. Make a pause. Amen.